Okay, so I was just in Kmart, like doing some nightly Kmart shopping, and I got an email. I'm actually gonna pass out. I got this email from Frontier Touring, basically the people who were doing Taylor Swift's Eras Tour. Oh my gosh. I missed out on tickets to Taylor Swift. Every single time that she released tickets, I tried to get tickets. I've missed out. I was able to get Sydney tickets through one of my friends. She had an extra ticket, so I bought it off her. But tell me why. I literally just got an email like half an hour ago. I kid you not, literally half an hour ago from Frontier Touring giving me media pass tickets. What is my life? I'm literally gonna pass out like I'm sweating. I can't believe this. I actually legitimately cannot believe this. I was crying, like I was in Kmart sweating, almost peeing my pants, almost throwing up crying. I was so excited. I can't believe I'm going to, I can't believe I'm going to Taylor Swift on Sunday. On Sunday. Bro, what in the- <laughs> This just came out of nowhere. Confirming two media tickets for Alicia Jade for Taylor Swift's The Eras Tour. What the frick? I- I'm so shocked. Like, I- I was like driving home, trying not to crash because I was that shocked. I was just like in absolute disbelief. I'm- Is this a dream? Okay, no, that one hurt. That one hurt. <sighs> what the I feel like I'm gonna pass out. I'm not even joking. This isn't- this isn't funny. Not only am I getting the chance to fly to Sydney to see Taylor Swift, I'm, I'm, I thought, I, I didn't even think like two months ago that I was even going to be seeing her and now I get to see her twice? Bro, what? I have to find someone to take with me because it's, I can't, the thing with these media tickets is you can't sell them. But when someone offers you Taylor Swift tickets, you don't say no. You don't say no. Okay, anyways, I just, I'm still in a state of shock. I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm going to pass out. I don't believe my life is real right now. I don't believe anything that's happening. I wish I got my initial reaction because it was, oh my gosh. I literally, like, called my mum and came up because she was sitting in the car and I was like, mum, I, I couldn't talk. I was, like, about to pass out. And then I got in the car and I'm just like, what is happening? <laughs> Happy errors to a day. I can't believe this! I'm literally gonna burst, I'm so excited. Ah! I'm gonna cry! Alright, so I need to get ready. It's midday right now. And I'm just gonna get ready. Doors open at 4.30. I can collect my tickets at 4.30. I can't collect them any earlier for some reason, don't know why. They just sent me an email being like, you can collect your tickets at 4.30 even though the box office opens at 2, you won't be able to get your tickets until 4.30. I'm like, that's fine! I just can't believe I'm going. I missed out on tickets so many times. I thought I, like, I thought I wasn't going. At all. I can't believe this! I'm very excited. <laughs> Gonna do my makeup. I can't believe this! What is happening, bro? This is because of you guys. I fully believe this is because of you guys. The support you've given me. I honestly don't think I would be going to Taylor Swift or doing anything like this for this matter if it wasn't for you. So thank you. Thank you a lot. I'm gonna cry. I can't believe this. So since I only found out that I was going tonight to the Eras tour two days ago, I had to come up with a last minute outfit quite quickly. It was a bit nerve wracking, but you know what? It's fine. So I didn't want to go out and buy another outfit. One, because I feel like I'd probably only wear it for this occasion and that's a bit silly. And two, because I don't want to spend more money than I have to. I am broke. So I found a pink dress in my wardrobe that I wore for Halloween. It's very cute and I've been wanting to find another occasion to wear it for and this just came up and it's so perfect. And I just realized all my makeup's in my mom's room so I'm gonna have to run downstairs and get that. It's okay, I'll come back to that later because you know what, I'm everywhere and nowhere and my head's, oh, it's fine. This video is gonna be chaotic, I can already tell you that. Um, anyways, pink dress. So I'm wearing a pink dress. Yesterday I went to Spotlight, I found like, a ribbon that was thick enough to be a sash and I got like rhinestone letters and wrote Miss Americana on it and then and then I had this crown so I'm doing Miss Americana because I really like my Sydney outfit because I can't believe I'm seeing her not once but twice I feel bad for seeing her twice but at the same time you get offered tickets you don't you don't say no to free tickets 
you, that no one else can take but you, you don't say no to them. Like, they're non-transferable tickets. They were put aside for me. Why? Why were they put aside? So I'm going twice, but my, my Sydney, my Sydney outfit, oh, I love it so much. This is like a last minute outfit and I actually love it too because like, how cute! Anyways, I'm going to go downstairs quickly because my bangs are severely overgrown and I thought I still had a week to go get a haircut, but I don't. So my mom's going to cut my bangs so they're not in my eyes all night. Um, let's go do that. Okay, that's fine. Okay, bangs are cut. Let me blow dry them quickly. Oh, I just got hair in my eye! Alright, let's just do my makeup and try not to cry. Anyways, let's talk about this concert. I just want to say, like, they're not asking me to do this. This is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. Anything like that. I am just so incredibly grateful. Thank you, Frontier Touring, for giving me these tickets. I am just in complete awe with how, out of everyone, they could have possibly chosen. They chose me. So thank you, Frontier Touring. I love you. They're giving me this opportunity so I can take you guys along to experience this with me. I'm so excited. So as I said, this video is probably going to be a bit all over the place. I don't know what's happening. All I know is I'm getting ready right now. And that my friend Aish, who is coming with me because they gave me a plus one, so I'm taking my friend Aish, is going to pick me up at three. So I need to be ready by then. Why am I nervous? Since I'm going as Miss Americana, I'm going to do like a leather inspired makeup look. So I'm going to do like the heart around the eye. Don't ask me why I use white concealer, I just do. Pink eyeshadow. I do have to figure out how to like secure this to my head though. I've been watching pageant queen videos of how they secure their crowns to their head. So hopefully I don't have too much trouble with it. I put way too much of my white concealer on. Usually when I do the right amount, it looks good, but of course because I'm stressing, it's like too white. It's fine, I can, I'll bronze up my face. We'll be good, we'll be good. It's gonna be a fantastic day. Nothing can tear me down today. Uh, also, last night in Melbourne, Kayla did, for her surprise song, a mashup of Getaway Car, August, and The Other Side of the Door. I so badly wanted Getaway Car as my surprise song and it was a one night off. But you know what? To everyone who got to witness it, I'm very happy for you. Loki, in my mind though, I'm s slightly scared that I've been scammed even though I know I haven't. Surely not. Like, can you imagine me rocking up there like after doing this, inviting my friend and like, it was just a prank? I would be so heartbroken. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. I just have really good luck, <laughs> please. I already know I'm gonna cry all of this makeup off. Um, so I don't really know why I'm trying so hard. Okay, now for this pink eye look. I'm trying to decide whether I want to do the heart first and then do the entire, like, heart pink. Or if I just want to do, like, a cute little eye look. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, something like that. Like, that just looks so cute. Or if I want to do, like, the, the traditional, like, full heart around the eye. I think I want to do the full heart. Guys, trust the process, I swear. Okay, now I need eyelash glue. Now we just have to wait for it to get tacky. It will look good once it's all done. Hopefully. You know what, I'm gonna come back to you once I've finished doing this heart. Because I... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> now, I don't have any eyeliner because, again, wasn't expecting this. Would have bought eyeliner if I had known, so I'm using eyeshadow. I'm so scared about these crystals, Loki. Please just stick. I'm just begging you. Just one night, just stick. Not gonna lie, this is all becoming a little bit too real and I'm actually starting to freak out. Like, I feel like I'm gonna vomit. I feel sick. Makeup done. Now I'm gonna do my hair and because my camera's about to die, I'm gonna do it off camera. Okay, here is the final look. I got the crown on my head, I've got my hair curled, I've got the heart, the outfit. Slay. Now I'm gonna have to vlog the rest of my phone because unfortunately I'm not allowed to bring my camera. I know it sucks, but it's gonna be fine. We're off the Taylor Swift. We're on the way, we're on the train, we're, we're I'm so nervous. We're running late, but we made it. We made it! Do you want to do a little food check, please? On the train? Okay, maybe not. We'll do on it. the train? <laughs> I can't do this. 
we're here. Well, we're kind of here. We're at the station. Oh my god. It's really nice weather. It really is. Oh my god. Picked up. Picked up the tickets. I'm so proud of you. What the? They're actually, they're real. Like, they're physical. Like, they exist. We weren't scammed. I wasn't scammed. This is real. This is my life. I need to sit down. I need to sit down too because I, I low-key thought I was getting scammed. I'm not going to lie. How is this real? Look, it's his guest. Oh my god, this is crazy. Shout out Frontier Touring. Love you. Yeah. I'm nervy. If you haven't done so already, please download your ticket. Okay. It's so smart. I'm holding my eyes out. Oh, Please ensure all personal items being brought into the MCG. I'm dead. Make the events conditional. Floor seating. Floor. Floor seating. <laughs> <laughs> this is that tears in my eyes. I'm gonna just stop. Oh. <laughs> what is going on? I don't know. How are we getting in here? Are we allowed to be in here? We have wristbands. We have wristbands. We have the tickets. We've got to go do some bracelet trading. Oh my gosh! Take some photos. Oh my god. I'm, oh my god. We're I'm going to throw up. Out. Oh my god. We're going to be sitting like right there. Right there. I am going to be sitting right there. I'm so scared. Like, I'm scared. Like, That there, that right there, is the stage. That is insane. <laughs> I'm freaking out. And then Sabrina guys, as well. Guys. Like, not just Taylor, but Sabrina and Taylor. Guys! Guys! Alright, I've got so much adrenaline in me right now that I'm gonna go trade some bracelets. I love Sabrina, I love her, she's my wifey, actually. Sabrina Carpenter is coming on stage. She's gonna be up there.
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was there. Okay, so hi, hello. This is obviously post-concert Alicia. I just still cannot believe that I was there.
I was there! I'm gonna explain to you how surreal this whole experience was because I don't think I really explained everything I was feeling before or during because I was just so caught up in the moment that I just didn't know what to do really. So I got this email on the Thursday night, the concert was on the Sunday. So that was just wild. I never thought that in my wildest dreams that I would just be offered tickets. Like that's just insane. And I don't know, a part of me deep down was like, oh, this is going to be like a huge prank or like a scam or someone just found my email and just sent me this legitimate looking email about these tickets and it's not actually going to happen. Because also I was told, oh yeah, you're going to get more details um, very soon, just hold on. And I didn't get an email until the day of the concert. So I was like, oh, maybe, maybe I did get scammed. Maybe this is all just a huge prank on me and they're just playing with my feelings. I also thought that the tickets that I was being given were probably going to be like restricted view tickets that they were able to give me very last minute behind the stage at the very top of the stadium where you could barely see it but I didn't care because I would have done anything to just be there and I'm so grateful that I was there. When I got the tickets they were in this little envelope actually I've still got the envelope they were in this envelope and it just said guest ticket for Alicia Jade and it was so wild because when we went up to the box office and I was like, oh, I'm here to pick up tickets for Alicia Jade. They're like, yep, can we like see your ID? So I handed over my ID and I wasn't really looking like I was so stressed out that this was like a prank. But my friend Aish, who I was with, looked at the list and my name was like at the very top of the list. And you could see the list and what everyone was there for. And there were people from like The Age, The Guardian. Herald Sun, Nine News, like all these like big reporting groups and next to my name it just said like TikTok which is so funny but it's just wild and so we got the tickets they were in this envelope sealed so I had no idea what they were going to be I went and sat by a tree opened it up which the wristbands were adorable they were like friendship bracelets so cute and I'm gonna start crying again like I did I didn't get it on camera, but I just started bawling my eyes out. Um, I pulled out the ticket and it said, Bay C7, row H, floor seating. And I was like, floor seating? What do you mean floor seating? I'm on the floor. And then we looked up the map and where the stage was, it's like got the, the front bit, the runway, the diamond, and then the backstage. We were like right in front of the front bit. Literally seven rows away from the front. Seven rows away from the front. Oh, I was so incredibly shocked. I just, I still think it was a dream. I don't think it actually happened. It doesn't feel real. It hasn't really sunk in yet. I'm sure like in two days I'll be bawling my eyes out. Anyways, the whole concert was absolutely fantastic. Sabrina Carpenter, which is like the love of my life if anyone's been following me for a while. I love Sabrina Carpenter. So being able to see Sabrina Carpenter and Taylor Swift was like the biggest dream come true ever. When Sabrina came out, I just started crying, like actually sobbing. And my friend Aish turned around and looked at me and she goes, oh my gosh, are you okay? And I'm like, no, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. I can't believe I was there. I'm gonna start crying if I think about it too much. Like, I'm just so incredibly grateful that I was able to be there and experience it. Cause that was seriously a night I will never, ever, ever, ever forget. Again, thank you, Frontier. I love you. And I get to experience it all next week. <laughs> like, oh! Part of me feels absolutely horrible that I get to go twice, knowing so many people missed out on tickets. When you're offered tickets for free, you take them. You don't say no, especially when it's a concert you've been dying to go to. I'm just so incredibly grateful that I get to go not once but twice and I, I got to see it with my own eyes. I didn't have to watch it through like a grainy live stream. I was there. I was there. This was definitely a core cool memory. This was a core cool memory. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video and coming along with me and being part of the reason that I got these tickets. Um, this is for you. I love you guys. I appreciate you more than you know. And... I will see you all when I vlog for Sydney.